Hey, what's up everybody? It's Lisa from tocreatorwebsite.com and I'm gonna show you how to back up your WordPress website without using plugins. And I believe this is something everyone should learn how to do because plugins are not always reliable. And I say this from experience. But before we begin, always check with your host. Do the fire drill now and don't wait for the real fire to happen. Figure out what you would have to do to restore your site if ever necessary. They may already do nightly backups and some hosting companies have a complete backup option right from your control panel. And also restoring your site could be as easy as clicking a restore button or calling your host. Just find out the steps beforehand. This will prevent you from scrambling and panicking if something were to happen. Nevertheless, I like to know how to back up and restore my site myself and you should too. So let's begin. First of all, WordPress has two parts. You've got your theme files and you've got your database. The theme files contain your actual site design. And if you bought a theme, you may remember downloading the theme after you purchased it. So you already have a backup of that. But if you've edited something like your style sheet or your function.php file, then you're going to need to back up your theme files regularly. The database is what many people would say is the most important part of the site, contains your posts, pages, and comments. Now, if you're going to ignore my advice and still go ahead and use a plugin, that's fine because there are some good ones out there. Just make sure the plugin backs up both your theme files and your database. A lot of plugins only back up the database because a lot of people don't edit their theme files, but you might as well back up both. So let's start with the theme files. They are located in your hosting accounts control panel. So you're gonna log in to your hosting account and look for an icon that says something like file manager, file, or something like that. I realize not everyone is on the same kind of hosting, so that's what makes this video a little tricky, but it should be something like file or file manager. I'm sure you'll be able to find it. So you're gonna click that option, and then you should be presented with the root of your hosting account, and you're gonna see all of your files and folders. So next, you're gonna look for a folder called wp-content. This is where your WordPress files are stored. So you're gonna click that folder or double click, depending on your host, and then you're gonna look for a folder called themes. This is where all the themes you've ever installed are housed. Click once again, and then you should see the folder of the theme you're using. So if you're using the pros theme by StudioPress, you should see a folder called pros and so on. Now you're simply gonna select that folder by clicking it, and then you're gonna look for an option that says either backup or download. And when you click download or backup, it should download that folder to your computer. And if you should ever have to restore that folder, because maybe you were hacked because you had a plugin installed that was outdated or a theme installed that was never updated, then you simply do the same thing, except you're going to upload that folder and then your hosting account will overwrite all those files. And you're done. That's how you back up your theme files. Now you can also use an FTP program, but for this video, we're just gonna keep it simple and focus on working in your hosting account. Now let's move on to the database. There are two ways to back this up. The easiest way is to simply log into your WordPress account, go to tools, and then choose export, and then choose download export file. So then WordPress will just download this file and you can save it and put it in a folder where you'll know where it is if you need it. And if you ever have to restore your site, you would do the same thing, except you would just choose import and then you select that file that you downloaded. The other option, and this is what people like to do if they're more like me and they just want to make sure they have a solid backup, you can also back up from the hosting level and you will get the entire database and all the tables and everything. This is probably not necessary, but it doesn't hurt to learn how to do this. So you're gonna log back into your hosting account and you're gonna look for an icon or an option that says something like database or MySQL or PHP My Admin. For most of you, it'll probably be PHP My Admin. So you're gonna click that and then you're gonna select the name of your WordPress database. And if you only have one site, it'll only be one database there. And then you're just gonna click export or backup and then wait for your hosting account to do its thing. And then if you ever need to restore the database, 
you simply go to that location that you just went to and click import or restore. That's it. And also, if you think your site is too small to get hacked, think again. Most people I know who have been hacked actually have less popular sites because hackers can easily find which sites are vulnerable. And they're constantly just sending out thousands or millions of attempts every single hour and if your site has a vulnerability, if you have an outdated plugin or if you have an outdated theme and there's a hole, they can exploit that. So nobody is exempt from being hacked. So that's it, you guys. The moral of the story is always know where your files are stored and how to restore them should something ever happen. You don't have to be a server admin, but you should at least be somewhat familiar with where your files are stored online. So that's all for now. Have a fabulous day.